Hello, hello, my party people! I just feel like this angle is not working. Can they see me? Okay, so I may or may not have been a little bit out of frame, but it doesn't matter because the iMac was in frame and my baby was in frame. And I know that's all you guys really care about. Y'all don't care about me. Because if you did, you'd subscribe more. <laughs> and comment more and like and engage more. Okay, so yeah, baby, we in business. Don't worry, I'm gonna put the box down so y'all can still see Lily. We're gonna be able to enjoy her presence <laughs> along with the presence of this. <laughs> Let me check this shit is recording. Okay, so. It was about time that I got this bad boy because you know your girl's on a brand new YouTuber journey. We are YouTubing now. And the new YouTubers need the new, new appliances. Okay, how do we not make this a two hour unboxing? Cause y'all know I love to talk and be ratchet. So I had my MacBook for like, maybe 10 years. Let me tell y'all, it was a 2015 MacBook Air that was using the old Intel processor before Apple got these M3, M whatever chips. Just so you know, I'm gonna let you know all the specs that I chose to customize this. But if you were looking for a very high tech, high level tech spec unboxing for this IMAX, I ain't the one. I am about the aesthetic. I am, does it do what I need it to do? doesn't have enough storage space so i'm not going crazy trying to delete stuff to film my videos because that was what was happening to me with my macbook air from 2015 that had like 120 gigabytes of storage and was running on a 4 gb ram processor yo it was a mess honestly the last two videos that you see before this i had to edit them on my friend's borrowed MacBook Pro because my MacBook Air was trash. Actually, I'm not gonna say my MacBook Air was trash. It's been with me for so long. Let's bring her up into this video. Let's give, let's pay her homage, yeah? Lily, where's my MacBook at? Lily, where you put my MacBook, girl? Isn't she wonderful? Um, yeah. I'ma love her forever. She did what we needed her to do. I'm still gonna have her, because obviously, now that I have an iMac, this thing ain't portable, but it's okay. So when I am having those days where I'm doing most of my work on my iMac, but maybe I need a little bit of portability that I would be able to like put stuff on here and be able to do it. But this is what we were working with before. I'm gonna keep it real, I loved this. They don't make MacBook Airs like this no more. This is a skin, by the way. Um, it's actually like silver, but I had gotten a custom skin. And this is the 11 inch 2015 MacBook Air. Also y'all, I know my nails are trifling, ignore them. I was about to say this is not a nail channel, but we do a little bit of style and beauty and stuff, so my bad. Whatever, they're grown out, it's fine. I'll get them done soon. This is so freaking light. If you go online and you Google the specs for this 2015 11 inch MacBook Air, it's like the lightest that they've ever been, you know? And I love traveling with this. The MacBook Pros, fabulous, but they heavy. You know, I know they're making them lighter and lighter, but they ain't never gonna go back to this lightness. But then again, the MacBook Pros have so much more capability than this MacBook Air does. But listen, baby, ain't nobody giving you away. You just can't a sister. You're just gonna big sister. And we still gonna keep you. We still gonna take you 
on planes and trains and cars and everywhere we need to go. Yeah, let's just open this. Let's just open this. I've never done an unboxing before. I know people do unbox these little products and they're like, oh my God, look, hi, this is my lip gloss. But I hope the angle works. Let's just enjoy this together. That's what the back looks like, <laughs> but you'll see it in real life in a, in a moment. Baby, then the people want to see you. I know. We get in very rough, so we didn't even ask for that. Promise the people that you would be a part of this video. So, you need to go where I marked you, which is there. Lily in her full glamour. Ooh, okay, what do we do? What do we do? Oh. Okay, okay. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. So it says push these sides out first. Okay. Now what? Do I have to push it out all the way? Oh damn. <laughs> sorry, Lily, I'm sorry. Okay. Ooh. This is opening up like a transformer. Like, I don't know. Some R2D2 transformer stuff. Did not break this before. Oh, it's nice and heavy. Okay. There's that, all right. Okay, this is the whole thing. So, keyboard stuff is behind there. So you see, it's like packed up in there. You take this. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Sometimes it's hard to tell like what's a box to create the space and what's the box that actually got stuff in it. I think the box that every, got stuff in it is all up in here, but okay, you can't really take this out the box, so I'm gonna just move it all over behind the camera. And then take everything out one by one. Listen, y'all, I'm not even gonna front like I'm like those tech guys and tech girlies that got it all together know how to do the most amazing unboxing because clearly this is chaotic, but... Welcome to my channel. Wow, hello! <laughs> Lift off, woo! Sexy, sexy. Here's another tab saying, it goes this way, baby. Oh, da, da. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Wow, this is really nice. I am really like happy <laughs> i don't know what else to say let's let's turn around baby baby do a spin for me baby do a spin for me i'm gonna keep it real like i thought this whole thing was gonna be pink too but that's probably just me not paying attention that's okay it's still beautiful it's still lovely i've never had a apple computer before like a desktop this feels like business like we ain't playing around on this channel we mean business Oh my god, is it recording? Now, let's take a look at the accessories. Woohoo! Wow, welcome back. I'm so happy to share with you the accessories that have come with my brand new product. So, what should we look at first? Whatever, let's look at the keyboard first. That's the most important. That's the biggest thing here. It matches the whole computer. Everything's wrapped very beautifully. When you order a Mac on Apple, you have options for like customization. Obviously, I chose the pink iMac and so it comes with all pink accessories. Um, this is the Magic Keyboard. This is for fingerprint um, access so you can use your fingerprint to unlock your computer instead of having to type in a password. And underneath that keyboard is this. The keyboard is Bluetooth, I'm pretty sure. I don't think you need to plug it into anything. Or maybe you do, maybe I lied because there's definitely a plug there. So I guess this is for the keyboard. There's a little on off switch here that, you know, we go and set it up together guys and I will figure out what's going on. <laughs> yeah, so you have the option of getting a mouse 
or trackpad or both. I think it naturally comes with the mouse. I'm so used to like, you know, using like three fingers to swipe this or swipe that way. I definitely needed a trackpad, but I also really like using a mouse as well. So your girl went with both. So here is a trackpad. We gonna un unwrap it. Okay, now that I'm seeing the accessories, I don't mind that there's the white frame around the edge of the screen because it coordinates with everything. Here is the mouse. Ooh, very nice. Also with the chrome pink, everything's got like a little on off switch, okay. Uh, maybe it's for charging, it's for charging, it has to be for charging. Cause this got a thing too, obviously you're not gonna use the mouse with something plugged in, it's for charging. Okay, I think everything is Bluetooth. This is power cord. I swear y'all, there are other people online that do this much more beautifully, but you only can get this kind of content here with me. So you're welcome. This is a very short cord. Hmm, that's okay. At, no, is this power cord? I don't know, then what's this? Oh, <laughs> it all makes sense now. This is definitely what goes into the back of the computer. Kind of looks like one of those things like whenever you watch those futuristic movies and I don't know, you got like cyborgs or like humanoids or something and in order for them to charge up, they gotta be plugged in. This looks like the thing that they like plug into the back of people's heads. So this gets plugged into the back and obviously here is the power thing. And <laughs> that goes in there. So it's not a short cable, it's a quite nice and long cable. And wonderfully, there are some instructions. <laughs> so I bought this here in the UK. I bought it off the UK Apple store. Um, it's my first time buying products over here. At this point, I've been in London now, I guess it's like almost six years. It's like five and a half years. And yeah, I usually don't buy my Apple products here because they're more expensive than they are in the US. So in the US, this would have been a little bit cheaper, but at the end of the day, like it's easy to go to the US and buy an iPhone and just like use it here. But obviously I'm not gonna go to the US for something like this to like what, bring back with me in my carry-on luggage, I'm good. So I just bought it here. I will put on the screen somewhere how much I paid for this starting price for the iMac with the specs that I got. Yeah, I think that's it. Now we just gonna plug this in and like open it and stuff and see what happens. Yay! I know, baby, it's a bit crazy, but what else is new? Okay, so that plug thing is magnetic. You just, you just kind of hover it next to the port and it kind of snaps in, which is very nice. Also, this thing comes with a ethernet port, just in, if you need, um, I don't know if your Wi-Fi is not working or something, that's good. All right, so we are all plugged in. iMac, woo! Welcome to your iMac. Press the power button on the back. Setup Assistant will get you started with Mac OS. Press the power button for me, baby. Thank you, that was amazing. I am just gonna grab my mouse pad. Got a new one. We got some island vibes going on, so it makes us feel like we're on holiday when we're working. Okay, they're just showing me that the headphone jack is on the side. If you edit using Bluetooth headphones, sometimes British English is the main language. Press the return key. To use English as the main language, press the return key. I'm choosing English, not English UK, just like English. <laughs> my country is United Kingdom, so I'm gonna pick that. Though my keyboard is a US keyboard. So like British keyboards are different from American keyboards. And anytime I go to like, when I was using my friend's MacBook Pro to do my editing for the last two vlogs, like damn, I kept making so many type of mistakes because their keys are in different places than what my fingers are used to. So um, I have an American keyboard, not a British one, because that's what I'm used to. Preferred languages, English, US. Input source for my keyboard is US and dictation is English, US. US, baby! Select your Wi-Fi network. 
there we are. This one. Jesus be offense. One sec, y'all. In the UK, you get these like passwords with your router that are so OD and so long and such a hodgepodge of different numbers and lowercase letters and capital letters. And I've never been able to change it wherever I've lived. In the US, it's like you get a router and you set up your own router wi-fi name and password and people do like the funniest things or things that are easy to remember but here it's just a hot mess so i just had to go look behind my router data and privacy blah 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 migration is to be honest when i'm starting over i like to start over fresh new new so sign in with your apple id i haven't gotten the apple care for this but i think i will especially since at some point bay and i are going to move we're going to move into a bigger place Right now, we are in a one bedroom and we're super happy here, but like as far as my office goes, it's basically the kitchen table, which is over there. So I'm doing this video here so we can do it in good light. But as far as working, this is going to sit on the kitchen table while I'm working. And then when I'm not, it will like go away in a cupboard or something somewhere. And maybe with all that back and forth, <laughs> it might not be a bad idea for me to get some Apple Care. And then at some point we'll move and this will go into the new place. But in the new place, we'll have a second bedroom, which will operate as both a guest bedroom and office. And this beauty will sit there. Okay, customize stuff. Make this your new map. Here's everything set up as you had it on your other map. Cool. Use your fingerprint to unlock your map and make purchases with Apple Pay. Start by placing your finger or thumb on Touch ID. Okay. Touch ID is ready. Your fingerprint can be used to unlock your Mac. Cool. Damn, they all up in my business with my cards. Y'all don't even see that? I just do it now. <laughs> don't be looking at my stuff. I'm going to have to mask this part. Oh. Okay, so, yeah, I guess we're all set up. And, um... They've placed us in the rolling hills of like Tuscany or something. I don't know what this is, but yeah, that's everything. Well, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed your time with me in this absolutely obviously not chaotic unboxing of my iMac. But yeah, this was super fun. It's the first time I've done anything like this. I hope you found it, if not helpful, at least entertaining. And you know what? Get ready for a new season of Anise London Beaston with all her new vlogs and all her new videos because your girl got her equipment now. So let's get into it. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Okay, let's turn the camera around to show the chaos. Let's cut this out. Stupid. So stupid. I hate it. It's just like boxes on boxes to create the the packaging and the compartments but damn like i don't know save the earth less cardboard chaotic but we did it yeah come 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 you gotta get the people what they want you know you a working girl now Lily. if my engagement tells me anything everybody just wants lily not me that's fine Hi, welcome again. This hasn't been chaotic at all and totally organized and know exactly what I'm doing.